I want to get into talking about some questions that I think normal, rational people should raise when they start talking about flat earth. And the first of those questions is really, is it possible? Is it possible that they're living in a world where they have been lied to about the earth, its uh, place in the universe? How would you know? You know, is it possible that they've lied to you about that? Uh, is it possible they have lied to you about the shape of the earth itself? Is it possible they have lied to you about the earth's movement or lack thereof? And if it is possible that they have done this, is there a motivation behind that that makes it worthwhile? And so many people don't do that. They just skip right into that's ridiculous because that's the program response. And that's another question. Why the program response? There are very few things in life where we can make a statement and get an automatic ridicule type of response, almost guaranteed, uh, thrown back at us. And one of those things is if you walk up to someone and say, I believe that the earth is flat and motionless. And that conjures up an immediate, either scornful response, uh, a response uh, centered in derision, uh, and mostly just laughing, uh, just laughing at, at the, the entire idea without ever taking the, into consideration, is it possible? Is it literally possible that for the last 400 years, a lie has been perpetrated on the people of the world and that that lie could only be proved uh, in the last 50 years, roughly, since the advent of space and space flight, supposedly. But then when you get into that, it also begs questions there are anomalies that we see with the space program. We see an Earth the same size, you know, two years apart from another Earth size, and yet the orientation and the size of North America, for example, are drastically different. We see cloud patterns on supposedly Earth-taking pictures uh, that are repeated. Uh, they're, you know, they're, they're stamped on there. We have videos like a funny thing happened on the way to the moon, which clearly and undeniably shows that something funny did happen on the way to the moon. And, you know, when you're in this and have thought it through and understand all the aspects of it or all the aspects you think you can wrap your mind around, you do get an idea of why and what the motivation is. There is a strong motivation, but you can't get into the strong motivation but, you know, and look into that without asking two questions first. And the first one is, why are you programmed to automatically look at that as scornful and laugh at it when, as I will present, there is no science evidence that was ever uh, presented which would lead you to, you know, go against the century upon century of teaching all over the world that the earth was motionless, flat, center of the universe. Uh, and this is a fact. Uh, the histories point this out. It was only in the last 400 and so many years that they tinkered with this idea and decided to change it uh, based on absolutely no fact. Some circumstantial evidence, yes. And we'll look at the circumstantial evidence. But there was definitely and is definitely motivation for them to lie about the shape of the earth and its prominence or lack thereof in the universe. So the first question someone should ask when they come across flat earth is why are you laughing internally or even externally at it? Why do you scoff at it automatically? And then secondly, ask yourself the question, is it possible that a government would lie to its people. And for those who think that governments don't lie to the people, I would suggest that you go back just a short period of time to the Soviet Union and uh, even to China, and, and even to China today to some degree, how the politics of the nation itself dictated what the press would say uh, and what the textbooks say. 
they have their own history. You know, there is a saying that the victor writes the histories, and that is true. And those who write the histories and those who are given power to write the histories have agendas often, and this has been shown many times in history. So I ask you the question, if you are coming across Flat Earth for the first time, and or even have come across it already and have refused to logically ask yourself the question, is it possible they could be lying to you about it? I would ask you to stay tuned in this series because I'm going to explore different things that make it obvious that they are at least trying to trick us to some degree, which begs another question, and that is why would they want to trick us even once? And, you know, we have things like bubbles that appear in space and astronauts that are, you know, suddenly thrown against a bulkhead in a supposed weightless environment. And so many other anomalies that have been seen with uh, photographs on the moon and with uh, other things like that that the space agencies have shown us. And again, we can't get two identical pictures of the Earth, it seems, from NASA. And with all these, you know, 30,000, 2,000, or somewhere in between satellites up there, we don't have one satellite that can give us a 24-7 feed of the Earth. Uh, yeah, we have supposed weather satellites, but all they are doing is showing you cloud formations moving on a model that they have made, uh, that which doesn't move. And so you're not really looking at the Earth. So... If you can get to the question, is it possible? And I think any rational human being would say, yes, it is possible that a government could and would want to lie to their people if there was something in it for them so big that the lie is worth perpetrating. And if you can get to that point, then you have to ask the next questions that come along. Those questions are, who benefits from the lie? Uh, who monetarily also benefits from the lie? Who is in charge that is able to give us this lie? If it is a lie. But it should be looked at as a possibility that it could be a lie. And look at some of the evidences and some of the experiments that have been done that are not circumstantial, which show a completely different story than with the official science narrative happens to be. So in this short video right here, I'd like the person to consider who hasn't considered Flat Earth to be the truth, and that's fine. But you owe it to yourself to know the truth, do you not? Or do you look at yourself as not worthwhile to know things that are truth? You know, human beings are basically all the same. They all deserve the same basic rights. One of those rights, in my opinion, is the right to know the truth about anything and not to be preached a lie from our governments. So if you can get to the point where, yes, it is worthwhile for me to know if they are lying, if there's a possibility they are lying, should I look into it? Because I am worthy to know these things as a human being. And for that reason, I'm going to be doing a little series here where we look at things like this with the Earth that, you know, it has anomalies in it. And you have to ask the question, why the anomalies with all these satellites up there? And why we do not have a 24-7 feed from space on these anomalies? And we, why do we have NASA saying that, uh, you know, before we can go to Mars, we need to learn how to get through the Van Allen belts to get to the moon? That's a direct contradiction to going to the moon in the 1960s. We supposedly figured out the Van Allen problem then. And people will delude themselves and say, well, the spacecraft has to be bigger now. So that's why they can't get through the Van Allen belts. This is, this is self-delusion. And that's another question to ask yourself. Why would you self-delude yourself? Is living the fantasy that the government always tell you the truth, is that worthwhile? So... I will leave it at this. Ask the first question. And the first question is, is it possible 
they could and would lie to us about the shape of the earth and where it is located and how prominent it is in the universe. That's all. Is it possible that they could lie to us about it? And in the next video, I'm going to look at the evidence that shows that it is very possible that they could be lying about this. But I want you to take a look at the evidence on both sides, which I will present what both sides say so that you can make up your own mind. This is an important question, a question that you as a human being have the right to know the answer. You are worthy of the truth. It is not just the elite, the evil elite Illuminati and the, you know, the, the kings and queens of the earth. They are not more worthy than you are. You as a human being are just as worthy as they are to know the truth of these things. So please ask yourself the question, are you worthy to yourself to even ask yourself the question, uh, you know, is it worth maybe contemplation for a couple of hours to see if you've been lied to? But first, is it possible? And if you don't think it's possible that you've been lied to, if you absolutely don't think it is possible and you've sat there and contemplated that honestly, then this is not for you. But if you think it is possible, please join in as we go down and look at all the different possibilities and all the evidences which shows us that something is wrong in our society. Something is wrong with what we have been taught. And we are worthy as a people to know the truth. Take care, guys.